All right, I'm out here on the middle Kenai this morning and I was trout fishing here. I stopped on what is one of the few gravel bars that's left right now due to the high water. And I've been throwing my, uh, my spay rod here for about the past hour and picked up one little dolly. Um, but I've been seeing quite a few salmon running uh, through here while I've been fishing for trout. And so I figured I'd give it a shot. Now what's going to make this interesting is I literally have zero of my salmon fishing gear. Uh, so I've rigged up the seven weight trout rod that I have. Um, I've put on a, a flesh tie that I have only because it has the, the biggest hook, um, which still isn't that big. Uh, that I had in in my box and I'm using a weighted line um, I've added one one split shot at the top of the mono here and we are gonna see if this works I don't think it's going to it's gonna be super interesting if it does I'm gonna have to sit here and wait until I see some fish coming. I think the fly might have a little too much buoyancy. May have to, just testing right now. I don't actually see any fish running. This is one of the few spots I've fished where you can, can see the, the fish here on the middle. A little deeper out there too it's probably three to four feet i think what i need to do is cut i got a little too much drag on this fly so i'm going to trim it down goodbye flesh fly maybe my red fly for the day took some of the material off this flesh fly that i'm using um, it's got a lot less drag now I have not seen any running just yet here. I'm kind of testing the waters out a, a bit past where I can see. Um, I've seen a few groups run in here while I was casting for trout before and they were, they were in where I could see. So um, a lot of times that means there'll be a, you might be catching just the edge of of the groups that are coming through and then the the main groups maybe just just a bit out past them so just running some test casts right now to see if that's the case all right guys we're hooked up on this ridiculous trout <laughs> sockeye rigging here Here we go. There it is, boys. Let's go. Oh, that's hilarious. Just a nice fish. Ugh. So you guys can get a good look at him here. Um, I did not come out to, to salmon fish today. I came out to trout fish and just saw these guys running by. So I'm still seeing some groups. Uh, I'm gonna keep fishing for these guys. Like I said, I got this weird, weird setup here. Let me take care of this fish real quick. And I'm gonna talk, talk about my setup.
going to go get this guy on the stringer. So here's my rigging. I have a, a sinking line, as you can see, and then I have that connected to mono, which is maybe about four feet um, to the fly. Uh, I am using some weight here um, just, to, just to get it down a little bit quicker. It's a little bit deeper right here, and the, and the water is pretty swift, so the sinking line isn't getting it down as quick as I wanted to. So I am adding a little bit of weight. And then I have, like I said, maybe about four feet here of mono connected to this was a flush fly, and then uh, I've kind of nipped some of the material off and uh, some of the tail. So um, this is this is what I'm working with. This is what I caught the last one on, and now I'm just kind of sitting here waiting until I see another group come through, and uh, hopefully I can I can get another another one out of the next group.